find an item. You know, we're glad to have it today, you know, and it's been a while. Yes, mm -hmm. it's my pleasure too. Yes, thank you. Uh, please, um, I invited you to share some of uh, what we are going through with, uh, to have your opinion. And there is um, the renditioning of our leader. He has not done anything in them. We are comparing what um, the foreigners are doing. The crimes they are committing. You have people like the bandits. Like killing people. And they are being rewarded. Uh, can you uh, shed light on this uh, to opinion so that our people can hear differently, not just coming from us? Uh, thank you so much. Um, I will start by, uh, first of all, uh, we had a little uh, uh, scheduling mishap that, uh, one hour ago. Yes, I yes. apologize for, for that misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I, I'm here uh, because, um, like you mentioned, it's been a while that I spoke with you and the children of Biafra on this forum. I have been doing so in order for her anyway. So <clears throat> I would like, uh, because of that, uh, before I come to your direct question, I would like to make some general statements um, and we'll go from there. I want to believe that um, uh, the audience here is uh, uh, worldwide, right? Yes. Yes. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, just uh, to remind everyone uh, from the last time I was here and what has transpired since then, uh, the World Evil Congress has been in the forefront uh, with the IPOB for the protection of uh, life and property of the Igbo in Nigeria, in Biafra land and elsewhere in the world. <coughs> I want you also to know that since the last time I spoke with you, World Igbo Congress has expanded its operations worldwide. Uh, we uh, have people functioning even some uh, in, in, in all parts, in all the continents of the world. So it is easy to collect and gather information and move people to do things. Our focus essentially <coughs> has been especially as we interface with IPOB, our focus has been one on diplomacy. Diplomacy, since uh, our solid base is outside Biafra land. We focus also on protection of lives and property of our people. We focus also on protection of um, IPOB and ESN because uh, we do believe that uh, these entities uh, have their inalienable right to self-determination uh, uh, um, um, as expounded by the United Nations. They have that right and they are fighting for it and we have looked through our place and we didn't see any real group that is fighting for this. So we believe that what IPOB and ESN are doing, they are doing for our people. So we believe in that inalienable right to self-determination. Um, <clears throat> my people, the war has come to us. And I call it war, not in the sense that uh, there are two sides, but in the sense that um, we have been on the receiving end. <clears throat> we have been on the receiving end. And what do I mean by that? The federal government of Nigeria today, if you ask me, these are Boko Haram, the military and the police are Boko Haram in uniform. And for us to be able to understand um, the question you ask, let us look at the main objective of uh, the people who are assailing us. For Fulani people, by origin, are not Nigerians. They are not among the over 400 ethnic groups in Nigeria. They came in 
through Yemen, through the Sahara Desert, through the Sahel region, and in 1804, pitched their tent in Sokoto, where they established a branch of the Caliphate. The Caliphate is the epicenter of Islamic terrorism, the epicenter of um, um, uh, expansionist tendencies of uh, the Fulani people. Because that epicenter has now moved through the Sahara Desert, through the Sahel region now in Nigeria. And they are backed by uh, the Arab world, unfortunately. And the situation has gotten worse uh, with the situation in Afghanistan. Because the Taliban has also now become interested in what is happening in Nigeria. What is their main objective? To take Nigeria, to take Jaffa land, to take the Middle East, sorry, not uh, the Middle Belt, to take the South South, to take the Southwest, and make Nigeria their own country. Every other person in Nigeria, just like what they did to Hausa people, they become their slaves. They put emirs over the people. They can come to Enugu and establish emir of Enugu. The people are not Fulani, but a Fulani man becomes an emir. That's what those um, satellite stations or camps they have established, over 400 of them throughout Biafra land. That is the objective. They will conquer a place. They will put emirs there and um, they rule the place. So that is why the Islamic nation is backing them. Uh, I, I give an example of what I'm saying right now. Uh, President Erdogan of Turkey is scheduled to come to uh, visit Buhari. He was in Nigeria one year after Buhari came to power. So the plan is not just from here. And now they are in the final uh, phase of their colonization of uh, the entire Middle Belt, South, uh, Biafra land, South South, and um, uh, Southwest. That's in the final phase, and that's why he's visiting. Anybody who knows President Erdogan will be apprehensive of this visit that is coming for. This is to tie up. And we are aware that uh, most of uh, the funding is coming from the Arab world, the United Arab Emirates, the Saudi Arabia, and other places. Therefore, the issue is much, much bigger. The Polani headsmen, the Boko Haram, are just their fronts. Therefore, if we are talking about justice, it is not there because it's not in their mind, it's not in their agenda. All they want is to destroy the place and conquer it. Remember that Boko Haram simply means to hell with Western education. That's what it means. So they are not interested. If they destroy everything, means of livelihood and schools, institutions, that is part of their agenda. So it behooves us to realize that and maybe not complain of the little things, but rather think of the actions we can take. So this is why I believe that everybody must gear up that we need to defend our land and our life by ourselves, by any means possible. Uh, I, I'll give you another example. Uh, recently it was reported that um, uh, some nursemen uh, in, in, invaded, just like they do all the time, uh, Oguta area, and um, uh, attacking the people who own the place, which is what they have been doing in Sampara and other places. They put their name there. Uh, and they changed the name of a, 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 a town to Fulani name. So, and now, uh, you see, the ESN has done a marvelous job. But the forces against ESN are enormous. The entire military might of Nigerian government backed by the Arab world. It is enormous. Therefore, it becomes important that people who live in those areas that have been overrun mobilize themselves also and find a way to fight back. This is what um, uh, needs to be done. There is very, very severe injustice 
we will engage all concerned. And what we mean by that, we are working towards um, everybody concerned. I'm not talking about the so-called leadership of uh, Igbo land. I'm talking about people who really have the interest of Igbo land in their hearts. We are working towards making sure that uh, uh, there are about 6 million Fulani people in the territory called Nigeria. And Nigeria itself, as of last week, about 212 million people. And since the open borders in the West, I have been working with Yoruba people, so we know the points of entry. So since the open borders in the western border of Nigeria, we don't know how many Fulani we have here. It's the estimated we have up to about 15 million by now. And they don't believe in anything except stealing, banditry, killing, many, and so on. They are not interested in all the conferences or anything that they want to bring to the table. Even if they are there, their elite will be there, but the foot soldiers are doing what they are doing. I am painting this green picture so that everybody understands what we have in front of us. So, uh, uh, the, so to, to go, go down to the question you asked, our beloved son, I've called him that several times, is unjustly held by DSS in Nigeria. You all will recall that uh, the first time he was abducted, in um, um, as soon as the news broke, World Book Congress was among the first to publish and call it abduction. Nigerian government said the, whatever the term they used, but we said it was abduction because we had privy information about that. And it has stayed like that since then. Illegal abduction. We also, in that same publication, called it uh, international gangsterism, which is what it is. So it is un un unfairly held, and uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, that son of ours will be released. We are working hard, we are praying hard, and we call every evil person to work hard and pray hard for his release. He has done absolutely nothing. Those who have done something like you said are the ones that are being, uh, what? They pamper them. They give them, for example, the group that shot down airplanes to the other time, Nigerian planes. The, the, the federal government has paid money to buy the anti-aircraft machine. The federal government has compensated them and told them not to shoot down, shoot down another, another plane. IPOP, ESF has not done any of those, and yet we are being attacked. You remember also that recently, in 2017, the federal government bought 12 A-29 ground attack Tokano aircrafts for, I mean, supposedly for use against the Boko Haram. Now, those aircrafts were delivered this year. All 12 of them have been delivered. We made efforts to stop it, but it was ordered since 2019 and the U.S. was bound to honor their agreement with Nigeria. So now, those aircrafts have been deployed to kill Ndibo. That is not right. So, what to answer in one second, the holding of Nam the Kami is illegal and must be reversed. Let me stop here for now. Thank you. We have uh, delivered um, what I uh, have expected uh, from you, and um, uh, most of the things you said uh, were in the pipeline for me to ask you questions, but you've said them. And then. Uh, oh, we can expand. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, uh, those places. yeah, I'll pick up some, uh, some things from there. For instance, um, the so called. Uh, Ibu elites um, in their family and in the, in the diaspora. Uh, some of them are aloof. They, they don't seem to understand the, the trouble we are in. Um, is there any way you can uh, reach out to them through this medium as we are talking for them to understand that their investments or whatever it is that they have is of no use to us? Thank you so much, my brother. Um, yes. 
I can reach them through this medium, and we also reach them uh, by what I called engagement. We said we are going to engage all concerned. That's what that, what that means. Uh, I am sure that um, uh, you you heard uh, what well the elite, so-called elite, they are not helping us at all. Yes, they are not they are not helping us. They are not helping us. They are, not helping us. They are, helping us. They, they are after themselves, and because they were put in place by the caliphate, they try their best to impress them, <laughs> outdo the caliphate in doing the harm on our people. Okay, so. As far as uh, we are concerned, we are uh, engaging all groups. You, you saw recently um, um, statements released by the College of Bishops and Archbishops. This is part of the strategy of that engagement. Even before, uh, um, uh, well, let me not go, go that far. Uh, um, you also see, just I think it was yesterday, the Council of um, uh, um, um, Southeast uh, Traditional Rulers also made uh, a statement. In that statement, they also called for the prescription of IPOB because they recognize that IPOB is not the problem. They also called for uh, a, they called it amnesty for IPOB. They called for unconditional release of Unam the Khan. So the momentum is gathering. There are people who really understand what this feeling is and uh, we are working together for that. Other people in positions of office, politicians and so on, are the problem we have. Uh, and if you are waiting for the time you will uh, get all of them to the table, then that might take too long. But right now, we are pushing, one, to make sure that the number is released. Two, to make sure that IPOB and uh, ESN are de-proscribed. That is our um, uh, objective. Again, I mentioned to you about diplomacy. Uh, that's, uh, we, we have developed like Hydra. Uh, we have developed a lot of tentacles and um, we are trying to make use of those. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, Professor. Um, another question I'm asking, you are not uh, affiliated with them. There are other Igbo organizations and it's only World Igbo Congress that is being spoken. Um, the, the, the question, the, the thing troubling me here is that um, if these uh, Igbo organizations are not talking, uh, where are they going to exhibit their Igboism? Is it under the Fulani Caliphate or what? If they, if they do this, when, 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 when other groups like us are coming up to see what we are suffering and they are quiet, uh, can you shed light on that, please? Yeah, we are. We have uh, tried to, especially in the diaspora here, we've uh, tried to engage uh, the um, uh, most of the prominent um, groups. You know our people. Uh, uh, it's, it's impossible to, to, to ask everybody to coalesce under one umbrella, which is what we have tried to do. This is why our operations have gone worldwide. Uh, the common people, the, the masses are behind what we are doing. So whether or not they belong to uh, major groups, a lot of the major groups uh, um, they have uh, like personal interest. You don't want to collapse your operation because I am the chairman, I am the president, I am this of this group. So you don't want to be seen as um, uh, uh, having given up your organization. Therefore, you use your organization as a bargaining chip. You use your organization as a bargaining chip to the detriment of Igbo people in Igbo land and the Fulani are doing what they are doing, give me a break, my brother. So, as far as we are concerned, we are still making efforts to make sure that uh, all groups out here work together. Uh, we, we have, the like I mentioned, some of the major ones will be holding meetings and so on, uh, uh, but uh, when it comes to making public statements, as far as World Book Congress is concerned, if they waste time, we we'll go ahead and say it the way it needs to be said. Because IPOB, ESN, the common people need that uh, what punch, that kind of uh, uh, support to be demonstrated publicly. That is what we are doing. We believe that in due course, all of them will come around. And uh, if, the, if it is <laughs> after the plan, I will run the place. We are unfortunate. Yes. Um, 
the international community, we uh, POB don't uh, depend on them. We don't uh, uh, actually count on their help. And the uh, one thing that puzzles me is um, how we continue to expect them to say the unthinkable, whereas they are doing sitting on it. I will give you a particular um, country. Britain is our problem, coupled with our people that are running around. Uh, Britain, through religion, got to us very, very well. And um, economically, they are still there. Uh, and they are stealing everything we have. And what I'm saying is that there was a clip I played, I don't know if you listen to it, from the, um, uh, um, the Kenyan girl that was addressing Macron. Why is it that we find it difficult with the deference to actually confront Britain? Why can't we confront Britain at deference? I'm not talking about the Dubois, I'm not talking about the Middle Belt. Why can't we call uh, Katrina Lang and um, Boris Johnson and question why deafens are being killed? Why can't we do that? <coughs> well, um, you stated the problem, and um, that problem you stated is Britain. Um, and even in diplomatic circles, that still holds water. Britain is. Uh, about uh, dismemberment of the experiment. 121 years, uh, I'm sorry, 107 years of experiment right now, 107 years. They, are, they don't want to dismantle. Even here in the U.S., the efforts we are making uh, is, again, uh, for example, last week we were in a meeting with um, uh, um, uh, the people of uh, um, um, the um, Lord, something is going wrong here. People of uh, the <coughs> um, the chairman of uh, the Foreign Affairs Committee of the uh, United States Senate, and this came up. So our objective is to make sure that uh, through the U.S., because the muzzle of UK is the U.S., if we get the U.S. in our corner, then we'll be able to do what? Get to U.K. So since getting U.K. directly has not yielded fruit so far, because as we are meeting them, they are also, uh, there's always a leak. Yeah, one second, please. Excuse me. There's something going on in my family. I got to. So so that's uh, the, the problem that the, uh, once we're able to get UK to work with us, which we are moving towards in a very very um, um, uh, strong, effective way, uh, we we also have the American veterans of people extractions extraction who are helping to reach because these are people who have served America and so on. We are using that as leverage. Our objective will be met. Uh, our people say, uh, um, uh, our people say that um, uh, if I will tell our people to be patient. If I that is what Chinti told. It's a one. That's the way it is. So, uh, we are working towards that to make sure that Britain conforms, and in that way, the United Nations. We are working through the State Department and the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations to ensure that uh, our plight is heard. Oh my time, it will be impossible for them to pretend not to hear. That is what the situation is. So, I acknowledge the difficulty, and you can be sure we are working towards it. All right. Yes. Um, to further this our problem, um, we have been getting bad rap we in the U.S. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's very funny. Um, do you have word for our people here that work in different directions? And my observation is that most of them are tied up to the politicians at home. 
And uh, when they do these things, uh, they try to be as if they are honest. Uh, they try to act as if they are presenting you with a good cause. But uh, in the actual sense, they are derailing, they are working against our, our most. Therefore, like, we need the ESA. Uh, we need the, to support these people at home and make sure that they stay put. But, but when it comes to, uh, like we, we say, come on, let's demonstrate, you see scanty people coming out. And then, of recent, they have started coming. Is there any way, uh, anything you've, you've noticed that you can say is the problem that can be rectified? The problem is still what we said earlier. People don't want to be seen, those people you described, who are representing the interests of uh, the so-called elite, the political elite, represent, I don't have such issues within my, my ranks. The uh, people come there, they, they tend to be good and offering good advice. But in, in actual fact, they are trying to slow you down. Um, uh, 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 Japan and the rest of World War Congress have refused to be slowed down because there is an emergency in our land. So uh, <clears throat> those people who are doing that, they don't want to be seen in our uh, demonstrations. They don't want to video to capture them. They don't want uh, the pictures to capture them. Therefore, uh, um, because they feel that if they are captured, the story will go to Nigeria, and their masters will call them and say, what are you doing? That sort of thing. That's why you are having that. But we are not deterred. And you know that um, um, it, it was on Friday, there was a demonstration at the... Um, University of Baltimore. You know that story, right? Mm, yes. Uh, she, University she, of Baltimore. Yes, yeah, she had. The she had the, the man. Yes. Okay? We uh, we wrote um, an op-ed to the Washington Times. And you notice that we put our name there. That is a uh, World War Congress. We sign and put our name. Uh, if you, you cannot hide when you know that your place is burning. The people who are burning our place, they are not pretending. They are doing it in broad daylight. So why should I hide? So now they bought the newspaper, but Sheehan and uh, what? The University of Baltimore have been sued for that, in addition to all the things that we have done so far. So force like that can make anybody listen. So next time anybody wants to write anything, any nonsense against IPOB or ESN, or Igbo people in general will have to think about it twice. So such a strong reaction is what we advocate, and we continue to do that going forward. Okay. Well, I'm glad the the um, the Jews and the people are injecting your group is injecting, and um, you see everything is tied to the political activity at home. Now that goes right to this question. Do we still have to pamper these politicians? Do we still have to stomach them? What's the best way to, to make them uh, impotent? Because like the senators, like the house reps, like those in judiciary, they are mute. They are not talking. Why can't we tell, call them back? Um, you will um, recall, um, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, the uh, governors of Southeast met, governors and politicians met, and released their um, a statement, which I read, and um, I laughed over it, because that is, you remember that record label they call his master's voice? Yes, his master's voice, yep. Yeah, that is what I saw in that, his master's voice. Gramophone. Um, yes, gramophone. So, uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if you, you'll also notice that in there, in their statement, they said that uh, uh, what is going on with IPOB and DSS has been sponsored from people in the diaspora. <laughs> you saw that? Oh, yes. And this is because we've tried to engage them to see reason. They want us to see their reason, but we... Their reason, as far as we are concerned, is suicide for our people. So that's why they put that thing there. 
So if you expect that uh, at this time, that all of them, some of them were put in there by uh, 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 diplomatic or uh, uh, what do, what do you call judicial somersault, someone who is the fourth in line becomes the governor of the state. So because of things like that, it will be hard to get them over to our side at this time. What is facing us first is to secure the safety of our people. And as, as we go on, we will develop, which we are not going to set, state here, strategies for making sure that we incapacitate and emasculate those people who are leading our people astray. I have a very strong belief that Biafra of uh, the, that is coming in such a place where equity, justice, and fair play will be enthroned by the people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will open the phone line for uh, people to call in, um, ask you some few questions, and I'll let you go because of your schedule. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, it's, it's not just even that. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm excited by what I'm doing, but <laughs> yesterday I, I, I took, a, I took a, a, a booster shot of uh, this COVID-19, and uh, I tell you quite frankly, it has rendered me so useless. But <laughs> They're talking about my people is what gives me fanya on my pain right now. Mm. So so let them ask raise their questions, I will answer and after that they deny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Professor. Um mm -hmm. you listen to Professor Joker and um and encourage her by what she's saying and then uh, for anybody that has a question we call four eight four seven five six. Uh, 484-767-0848 plus one 484-767-0848 if you have question for uh, professor what is your name and where you calling from Bless you. Yes, you them, bless you. Yeah. My name is I from I have from the I what the Congress. But I want to know how how many years that World Ibo Congress has existed. Because some years now, nobody, 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 nobody come around all, the, all of us, except Martin and the camp, comes in and begin to sacrifice both his mother and his father. I want to know, my question is, how many years? Professor, what did you say? I, I, I said that if you keep, if you keep me for too long without questions, I could slip up. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are coming. They, they are coming. Okay, well, they, 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 go ahead. Go ahead quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I said, I want to know how many years World Global Congress had existed. Because there is a question you asked me. How, how, why can our people not take the time to court? Because I could remember that. In fact, I asked this question. Let me drop it here. How many years World Global Congress had existed? God bless you. Professor, you used to know uh, how many years uh, World Global Congress has been in existence. Um, I'm not sure this is a good question because uh, uh, it might be very, very irrelevant what we are doing uh, at, the, at this point. Um, uh, World Book Congress, when it started, uh, I read out what we call our focus. That has been the focus. Uh, like every Igbo organization, uh, um, had its own problems uh, for uh, more than eight years in the courts. And now we've uh, bounced back, and by uh, the, uh, uh, um, the glory of God, this administration coming to existence and uh, is uh, kind of um, uh, actually looking into action the focus and the objectives of this administration. So length of time at this point does not uh, really 
we have a good bear in what we're discussing. Mm. All right. Mm. Thank you. Um, uh -huh. Anybody calling cover on uh, WhatsApp? 484-767-0848. Call uh, your name and where you calling from. Good morning from here. Thank you very much. Uh, my from here, uh, 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 my question to Professor uh, what are they doing to find our people, those political uh, men from black Iran, that most time they came to Uri America to campaign? And then after the campaign, they came back to most of them successfully become governor. And uh, have you seen them and uh, their, their, their duties and how they handle the state the where they are governing? I don't think very well that they have done nothing to change the, the, the or develop anything in the east in the other land. And the when last they came back, any time they came back, they still entertain them. What are they doing to stop such people from coming and for attending them or supporting them to be in government in the other land? Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, thank you. I don't know if he heard you, but uh, uh, to me... I, I, I didn't hear. I yeah, didn't hear. yeah, he's saying about uh, what uh, Ibo World Ibo Congress did to stop these uh, politicians from him coming here to campaign and then go back. So, so I was trying to say, I don't think that's a, a question for you to answer because uh, you've covered the whole thing. It is we that we reject them. That's right. Yes, it, it, it is us that we reject them, not, not uh, World Ibo Congress. We as, uh, as bear friends here must know our responsibilities. Uh, just because I, um, of World Ibo Congress pitching in, they at least they are the ones stepping up to back... Um, Back up at the and yes, and uh, lead them as a man. The rest of them are keeping quiet. And when, when these people come here to campaign, they have uh, branches here, they have their studios here, they, they, uh, they just said, give me a, a make way for me, I'm coming to come and campaign. And that's what he addressed, Professor Ejofa addressed it, so I've cut it short so that other people can, can call. Unless you have another question. Thank you so much. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Amazi, hurry up. The, uh, the, uh, we don't have time. The professor is, is, uh, is not uh, that uh, strong enough so, to, to talk for a long time. So hurry up, please. Okay. Thank you. What I want to say is this. I heard the interview and what my brother is saying. First of all, I have to greet him for his statement so far. He did not say he would be able to get a lot of time. When my children have a new week, when my children are aware of the earth is sick, all be willing to, all be willing to my deed. I feel I live in my life. Nancy, Nancy, hurry up, we are hearing you. All be willing to, no girl, my deed, my man, be a girl. Everything <laughs> The happy thing or we do have you see that we have to go for now. We got to be in the mother. We got to be in the ego. All of you want to be in the ego. I got to be in the ego. I got to be in the ego. 
Yo ni we ni Ibo Congress, o Ibo Congress. Oma ze ja ojoko. Ibo ni de ele. Le nia, mere no lam dia, lam de kana ka nyere na ipo bi aka. Ka ndi ni ga yiri ndi Ibo. Ka nku se ba. Ndo. Eh, professor ni de yanu. No, I didn't. Okay, it's time I'm playing for the Audible Congress to see what they can do to assist our leader. And uh, that's what uh, you've been doing. And um, we, are, we are very happy that uh, such things are taking place. Um, uh, and, and let me make a clear. Please, these people calling in this line, you, will not, you cannot be able to get in. What are your name and where you calling from? Uh, let me also add, now, if I follow, uh, about them, um, all we are geared was for one to ensure that um, uh, Namde they um, released unconditionally. That's what we have been working through every means they are available to us. And the World War Congress has also appointed the uh, lawyers. Um, one of them will be there on the 21st, and we we, 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 we hope they don't. Um, we don't, they don't um, uh, um, what, uh, extend that uh, stay, um, the, the, the hearing will take place. That's what we expect. But if it doesn't, we are going to send uh, um, a team from the U.S., uh, no, no longer a local person, to be there. So I need to be committed to what we are talking about, and that we are not shying away from it. That'll Thank you. Can I, uh, go ahead. Masi, can you hear me? Yes, we are hearing you. Right, thank you very much, Masi. Uh, it's your brother, uh, just be calling for my location right now. Masi, I, I appreciate you. I thank uh, Professor Joffo. I don't know if he's hearing me as well. I'm hearing you faintly, faintly. Uh, so if I don't hear clearly, you will, Masi, I'll okay. you will um, Masi. blow it up for me. Marcy, there's a, there a crack up. I don't know. It's not from my place anyway. I don't know if you're hearing me. That's why. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Go ahead. Okay, Marcy, I want to uh, tell you some things that is bothering me to uh, Professor Jeffrey right now. Professor Jeffrey has been doing good. Uh, he's a hard speaking man. And then I say, may he continue because our leader, uh, as you can see, when our leader was with him, our leader make us to understand that he's a good man, and then you can see from the that he's not hiding. And uh, none of us is going to hide, because when we hide, uh, our land will be taken. Everybody has to speak to any department you know how to do. You have to do it right now, because our land is spoiling. So my question is, that is what brings me to call the manager and to talk this thing to him, to ask him this thing, right? Uh, for if you look at what is happening since our leader was being kidnapped by Kenya and the Indian government, being renditioned, they broke the international protocol. Now, if you look at what is happening in social media now, there is a big, huge attack against the US. And Marzi, uh, our leader, Marzi Nkano, there is an account I think he made public in, uh, in America concerning ESM. But what Right now, that the people that was monitoring that account, they will have been supported by DOS because of some some issues that is going on, and they go on, and they go on and start things, asking for support to to support the uh, uh, ESN, and this has been suspended. Now, if we have if we have to bring ESN to support us to counter these people, which is eminent, now. And they are deciding these people to release money so that to universe can use it to, uh, you know, do exactly what they're supposed to do with it. And these people refuse. Now, I'm asking, they go ahead and keep asking for fun in some of What about if we uh, support them through the that they do, as we didn't see, and something happened? Please, 
What it means to be the faith of those people that is fighting for us and the faith of those people that we to hold those money, which they don't want to release it. I don't want to call their name because I know you know some of them. What is going to be their faith? Because those what is going to be their faith. And you know, if they say that the Nigerian government is coming to us when we have ESF with us and we have money from that account, instead of them to release it for viewers to use it and they refuse. What is going to be their faith? Please, this is what I want you to let our people know. Because it's telling me, it's telling me and it's killing me slowly. Because these people have no right to talk whatever. Uh, my brother, my brother, uh, uh, the round the table where he can, uh, where he can answer you. Uh, because, uh, yeah, he's talking about, uh, he's talking about those that have, uh, uh, we told him a ESM money, uh, what I uh, think should be done to them uh, if they hamper the, or jeopardize the lives of the ESM people. Um, let me start uh, from whom I want to know. He mentioned social media, what's going on, the attack on them, um, DOS and all that. DOS. I think I heard that. Yeah, DOS. Uh, DOS. DOS, yes. Uh, I want you to understand that um, the propaganda machine of uh, Nigeria is at work. A lot of the things in Abuba for that propaganda machine. Uh, even uh, this uh, piece, Ed Elonam, on the October 4th, um, Washington Times, with our propaganda machine, we have um, tracked that. And this is why they have been sued, both the newspaper, the person who wrote it, and this university. And I did say that the strong uh, actions like this would deter them from doing things like that. So the propaganda machine is at work. And IPOB is up to and equal to the task. I can say that based on the knowledge I have of what is going on. About uh, the money issue, I do believe that uh, that is because I have weighed into it. You said uh, that I heard you also say, you know, I know some of them. I know all the entire issue, and um, uh, it is not uh, because I'm officer of uh, IPOB and not in a position to hold brief on the, those financial things, but I can assure you, based on what I know, that DOS is working to ensure that those monies are returned. Even one of the people who are named have also been, we have been told that uh, the person is under or within uh, uh, that uh, action, that that uh, uh, opinion piece written by Professor Sheehan. Mm -hmm. And yes, and we are looking into that. One of the people who paid uh, him to write, um, the, to stay part of those people holding the money of IPOB. So the action within DOS is still going on, and I believe that the uh, their gift was recovering all the IPOB money. You are very right that uh, anybody holding the money that has been collected for a, a particular purpose, and that purpose is saving our people, should be responsible for what is happening to our people. Because if that money was there, the operation would have been better. And I said this to uh, um, uh, everybody who wakes up in the morning and says, oh, IPOB, oh, ESN is responsible for the people being killed in Igbo land. False. Capital, false. Whether you, whether you call IPOB or not, the truth is that the federal government is responsible for that. The truth is that Igbo people have been killed in Nigeria since 1945. And it's a vicious cycle, year after year. IPOB was not there in all those. So there has to be, the Nigeria has to find a reason, the caliphate has to find a reason, one way or the other, to kill Igbo people. And one of the reasons now is um, the propaganda machine to manufacture things and put it on the neck of IPOB and ESN and do things. And then IPOB uh, will be held responsible by them. If you look at uh, the release by the Council of Traditional Rulers, you will see somewhere where it says something about miscreants who are using 
uh, uh, the name of IPOB somehow for men trouble. They are being asked to stop. This is the reason for putting it there. If you can you imagine the Council of uh, Traditional Rulers putting things there because we are privy to it. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, the truth is told. Uh, so the propaganda machine is, uh, and it's very vicious. Do they have a whole lot of money? And uh, we can only work the way we can. At the end of the day, as I always say, and uh, uh, so a lot of my close associates within IPOB will say, hey, prof, a prof, that we will force the hand down. And that is what is going on. Shalom. Thank you. Um, due to the situation, I think at the half past the hour, I will turn you loose so that you will uh, go and have your rest. Uh, so let me get a few more questions. <laughs> Better give me well, um, do you know? Yeah, no, no, no problem. Yeah, uh, I name, uh, I name. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Call her your name and where you calling from? Call her your name and where you calling from? No, I'm not hearing you. No. No, it's not. Call her your name and where you calling from. This is Peter to follow from Enugu. Okay, I'm hearing you now. Can I go on? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay. So what I want to know, what I want to know, as a uh, Igbo World Congress, based on uh, you know, I know that Igbo World Congress concerns only the Igbo, but in Biafra we are uh, you know beyond the Igbo region. Now. My question is this, is there any effort that the uh, World Igbo Congress are making, you know, to stand with Nazim and the Palo based on the areas he's saying that is the boundary of Biafra land? Because this struggle is for Biafra, not, for, not only for the Igbos. Is there anything that doing in order to back him up, you know, in, in, in to, to take a solid stand based on our boundary? That is what I'm sure I want to ask. But if you watch out, the interest of this uh, Nigerian government is for them to let them go, go with the five states. But that is against the rule of, uh, you know, the Martin and the Cardinal. So is there anything that Google World Congress are doing in order to pack him up in that stand? Thank you. That's my question. Uh, I'm, I'm sure 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 I'm well, the uh, Congress effort, you see, to see that the um, all areas are, are backed up, uh, like uh, for Biafra. That's uh, practically what you say. Um, I want to go into that thing about uh, quite a huge uh, area, and uh, but I don't, uh, I don't mind to uh, talk about it. Uh, yes, uh, Onion do, did, um, and uh, IPOB uh, were demarcation, and Biafra is uh, the Biafra of uh, 1967, uh, <coughs> the land or the territory of 1967. Mana, you must look at the politics of it so that we don't weaken our position. Uh, we stand by that. To start with, that's an um, upfront statement. Maniga ne never find it. I've been there now. Now, statements people make in the press, especially the old brigade of the South South. What they always say is that they were not consulted before that demarcation, and this is the old brigade. Uh, if you say what what have all the Congress done, we believe that Mazenda uh, the Kanu. And most of the people that populate IPOB are the new generation. And therefore, our strategy is to engage the new generation in the South-South. So when I mention South-South, that's what I'm talking about. The, the, most of them are interested in what is happening. Most of them believe in that territory. But at the same time, they still wonder when uh, all of us uh, will assemble on a table, around a table, 
and make decisions that will be binding to all groups concerned. That will come, and we are working towards that. And so we do believe, for example, in most of the things we do, our people in Delta, they say, oh, never forget us, don't forget us. They are part of it. But it has to be clearly defined, ab initio. The point will come when that will happen. All right? Um, thank you, Professor. Um, I think uh, here, uh, let me see if, uh, what this guy has. Uh, call out your name and where you calling from. Call out your name and where you calling from. Master, yes. Master, my, my name is Tichikwe Shukawa. I'm calling from Ada Province, Yafra Lan. I'm from Umoa. Barista, Ejoko, Tichikwe Shukawa. This is Professor Arthur Mazi. This is Professor. Good <laughs> Call her your name and where you calling from? Yeah, uh, Um, thank you for taking my call. Uh, I'm calling from my uh, location. I just want to. Thank Professor wholeheartedly because um, at least I can sleep tonight because I thought that we that uh, all the uh, report, uh, very prominent men in Ibu have forgotten us that uh, appearing to radio, in radio theatre I mean it's an encouragement and uh, a hope so I just want to thank him and thank him and thank him thank you Mr Mazda Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yep. Professor. Okay. Okay, round is that up? Um, yes, yes. Uh, go ahead. I'll make you one, one closing uh, remark. To start with, um, we have the uh, caller name, um, uh, Ivan Yejofo. Yeah, I corrected him. <laughs> yes, yes. Ivan Yejofo. When you are so far from my yes, you don't know Yes. And uh, we have been working together. Uh, on this matter. In fact, uh, he communicates with me almost every day. Um, um, so, I have to go to So, need to make sure you something that um, uh, one of the questions that uh, uh, you asked me, my dialogue here, that you asked. I answered that question, but I think I left out some, uh, well, inadvertently left out something that I want to bring here and as a conclusive remark. In your question, you said you said emphasis is on Biafra land uh, that to leave out um, uh, uh, um, uh, Middle Belt uh, um, and, and Southwest and so on. Yes, our emphasis is the build the same. The only thing now is uh, when you go out to international forum, where diplomacy is the key. Uh, you, the, the, the message has to be crafted. In fact, we also engage a number of um, uh, professionals and the lobbyists who are helping us. The message to craft that the ordinary American will hear and get up. If you remember during 1967 to 1970, oh, they are ordinary Americans. Okay, Nick Simbo, the president. Ordinary Americans let things happen. Because we are also setting up... Um, uh, crisis team that will handle things like uh, uh, um, uh, re relief situation, things like um, uh, um, uh, people who are displaced, because this might be coming if we don't uh, take time. All the ordinary Americans that uh, key into that and back us up. And the message, therefore, which we have had conversations with over 12 Senators and they are help, trying to help us to go and address the Congress. We have also laid the pipeline to address President uh, uh, um, Biden. And what is the message? If you say Biafra, 
already the, the um, uh, um, Nigerian government has given us a, a bad name. Uh, but we are not deterred by that bad name. We will continue to fight with it. But Anyaman Ebunwell said to Lady Abata, he used well, one catch phrase Christians. Christians. In the Biafra, Christians. In the Middle Belt, Christians. And they know about the Middle Belt way before in Jerusalem. In the West, are coming up. So we just lay emphasis on Christians. And we give the population of about 140 million people out of 200 and plus million, which is two thirds of the entire area, are Christians. We are trying to wake up the sentiment and the interest of the Christians out, out here, which will support our cause. But our focus for Biafra, that is where we are going. I thought I should bring that out. So you know that our mentioning all those other groups is not because we are so uh, trying to dilute our efforts, but because it will make greater impact from the people we expect to help us. Dallon. Professor Jeffa, thank you very much. Uh, we'll do it again uh, next time, and I'll be checking up to see how you're, how you're feeling. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Thank Bless you. you too. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, that is uh, <clears throat> Professor Jeffa of the World Evil Congress, and uh, you've all had it. Um, this is. Uh, there are things that are going on that we don't know that are going on. There are things that we know. You don't think that other people know it. Uh, all of a sudden, you understand that there are things uh, you think the world will not hear. They're hearing it. Those that are working against Biafra, they are Biafrans. Those that are derailing ESN, they are Biafrans. They are using ESN name. And they are, they are the background campaign to finish ESN, to starve ESN, and they are raising money for ESN. It's open. They can no longer deny it. And we keep asking them, which ESN, ESN are you talking about? Time will tell. Time will tell. You're working for politicians. These politicians are the ones holding us hostage. I intentionally ask that question to let you know that when you are an agent of a politician in Nigeria from Biafra land, your presence is here. And you are playing their role, the role they have assigned you to play. So we know. I don't like quoting the Bible like all those that say, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. It's not all those that shout, Biafra, Biafra, Biafrans. They come in different uh, clothing. Some of them are wolves in sheep clothing. You will find out very soon. There are some information I have that will, you know, you'll be shocked. I'm that not shocked. You remember the Shihan saga when it came up? I say, wait until you hear the story. Don't, uh, don't side anybody yet. Don't uh, swallow it yet until you know the truth. Now you know. Now you begin to know the truth.